so. You want justice. And you want it badly enough that you are willing to represent yourself in court without a lawyer. My friends, what I really want you to understand is this. Walking away from court is often the best decision you can make, whether you have a lawyer or not. But if you are self-represented, walking away is almost always the best decision. Instead of immersing yourself in a case that you are bound to lose or that will not give you adequate justice, even if you win, spend your time, energy, and money to achieve a happy and decent life. You see, there's a tough reality to representing yourself that you don't know about. Even if you have previous experience in court with your lawyer beside you, as a self-represented litigant, you will be abused by opposing lawyers. You will be abused by court staff and by judges. And, like the vast majority of self-represented litigants, you will likely lose your case. You may find yourself having to pay legal costs to the other side, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars or more. Or, like me, you may end up doing several months in prison, even though your case is a civil lawsuit and not a criminal charge. Remember this. The justice system is rigged to favor the legal profession over ordinary citizens. Always has been. Lawyers and former lawyers, called judges, established and run the justice system in a manner that favors, protects, and profits members of the legal profession, and you are not a member of their club. If you try to gain justice without hiring a member of the club to represent you, the courts have systemic barriers in place that will ensure you will likely lose, usually over procedures and rules. You probably even won't make it to trial because opposing lawyers will overwhelm you with procedural motions designed to delay and dishearten. And the judges will likely allow this. The system does not like to see lawyers, you know, club members, defeated by ordinary people representing themselves in court. Now, if you're like most people, you would rather have a lawyer, but you don't have ten or $20,000 that is the basic entry fee for hiring a lawyer these days. Or perhaps you've already paid thousands of dollars to a lawyer who accomplished nothing, left you with no money, and walked away. That is such a common story. So, you think you can learn enough about the law and court procedures to represent yourself in court. You think that if you can just get your facts before a judge, you must win. The, 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 the judge must give you justice. He'll see your evidence. <laughs> you believe that because you are intelligent, educated, hardworking, successful in your life and your career, that you will at least have a shot at justice by representing yourself, as opposed to no justice at all if you don't try. You have no idea about what you are getting into. Let's listen to what others say about their experiences as self-represented litigants. First, here's Kellyanne. Um, the thought that everybody who self-represents um, wants to because they want to challenge or they want to argue with the other party and I'll show you in court and I'll win and I'll beat you. Well, that's just ridiculous. I, I, I don't know what the judges um, think. I don't know what the other lawyers think, but it, it's a club. It's a club that you don't belong to and you have to try and figure out the rules and they don't give you the rules and they're not written out anywhere. You know, if you haven't gone to law school, if you haven't grown, grown up in that club, there, there's no way you're going to figure it out. So. Derek also represented himself in court. However, I, I still felt confident that I could represent myself. Of course, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> but I've got four degrees. I have two professional certifications. I've got court experience as a social worker. I speak in public regularly. 
I can download forms, I can prepare an argument, even if I didn't know the law or court procedures or protocol, I could learn that. It was far harder than I had imagined. The legal process broke me in almost every way. It took most of my time and energy. It drained me financially, emotionally, physically, and intellectually. That is quite a confession from Derek. The legal process broke me in almost every way. You know, I've heard the same from dozens of other good people who tried to self-represent. But maybe you are forced to represent yourself in court. Perhaps you are being sued and the other side won't settle. Maybe your children or your home are at stake and you can't walk away. But you have no money to hire a lawyer. If that's the case, and you must represent yourself, my friend, you have a difficult path ahead. You'll have to work hard to learn the law, to learn the written and the unwritten rules of litigation, and there are oh so many unwritten rules, and they won't tell them to you until, well, they ambush you. You'll also have to work just as hard to not let your case overwhelm your life. Now, on my website in this video series, once in a while, I'll try to remind you to keep a happy perspective and to not ignore what's really important in your life, your family, your friends. But don't say you weren't warned about how difficult this will be. Next in this series, nine tips for dealing with an abusive lawyer. And if you intend to represent yourself in court, you will need to watch that one. I'm Donald Best. See you next time. <laughs>